Hello and welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily, a year in review video. Fellow trainers, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. This video is just kind of going to be a recap of everything that I've done the past year. My goal going into 2019 and just a couple ways I want to do the channel a little bit differently. If you're brand new to my channel, in 2018 I set out to do one Pokemon booster pack opening of some kind every single day for an entire year straight. I wanted to see if I could go an entire year straight without missing a single day and as of today, I've success successfully completed that one year challenge. If I'm being completely honest, when I set out to do this challenge, it was one of those things I had no idea if I was going to even make it past the week, a week doing this. But a week turned into two weeks, a two weeks turned into a month, a month turned into six months, and then before I know it, here we were at the end of the year, and then I was actually going to have to make the decision if I wanted to keep going forward with this challenge, or if I wanted to try to make some content, or do something else. But doing these daily videos actually really turned into a highlight of my day. Even just being able to open up one Pokemon booster pack, um, it was just a super fun way to interact with different people from all over the world. I had no idea that I would actually like have any kind of interaction with uh, with real life people. Give or take, that's what you want to get out of doing the video, YouTube videos. But it was just something I didn't expect to get out of just doing something that was kind of on a smaller side and a very kind of niche sort of thing to the people who have been subscribed to my channel and watching my videos for a while. It's actually been a while since I've said kind of what was the intent idea for this. Um, before this, I've been going on YouTube for years now, and I've just always really enjoyed content creators who try to put out daily, uh, daily videos, do vlogs, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of where the idea came from, somehow doing maybe a daily uh, daily vlog sort of thing with another booster pack, and I just kind of meshed the two ideas together. And then on January 2nd of last year, I started doing one whole booster pack a week every single day. So, do I plan on continuing to do this into 2019? starting tomorrow, January 2nd. As of right now, I absolutely do plan to continue doing this. What I've said in a couple of Booster Pack videos, as long as I'm having fun making these videos, it's not like hurting me financially or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and keep making these videos. The only, really the only thing I'm gonna put on there that if there comes a day that I'm just not having fun doing the daily Booster Packs anymore, then that's gonna be the day that I choose not to do it. I don't wanna have it be some ultimatum, like I have to keep on doing this. Um, so that's really just kind of the only thing. As long as I'm having fun, enjoying it, and seems like a handful of other people are, then I'm going to keep going forward with it. The rest of the video is just going to be talking about some of my goals I have set out for my channel going into 2019. Uh, two of the funnest videos I got to put out in the past year, there were uh, some different types of videos that I got to experiment with throughout the year. The, a couple of them being regional vlogs from Pokemon events, and that's actually something I really want to get into the habit of doing even more. And even if the vlogs aren't as exciting as those really big regional vlogs, one of my first goals I want to try to do with this channel is to start doing either weekly or bi-weekly local vlogs and with my friends in the Pokemon community. Now that I've kind of made my way into the Pokemon community in the new area that I moved into six months ago, I'm finally feeling more comfortable to where I really want to start and doing more fun in a lot of the stores that I go and play with, do some matches and stuff, and just do vlogs of those smaller little events. Kind of done it is starting to do even more live streams. I don't even know what's going to happen to me doing them daily, or at least maybe every other day or something like that. I absolutely love the feedback I've gotten doing during the live stream. and just find, it find time to have more check them out. Schedule them a little more. Right now they're still kind of sporadic and just all over. Like basically whenever I feel like it, that's kind of when I do live streams. And I just really want to find a better schedule to get those out and just kind of have a more interaction with other users. A good segue into my next goal with this channel is to just be more interactive with other channels. I'd love to do booster pack battles with other channels. Uh, just kind of reach out to other channels, specifically any channels anywhere between like the 500 subscriber and maybe, uh, maybe other channels that are just the, in those uh, a couple thousand subscriber range and just kind of doing some collaborations and other things with other channels. I got an in, uh, invite to do those kind of things with other like smaller channels and stuff before, um, but I've just been really, really busy in the past, and I kind of am in a good, in, I'm in a good place in my life right now where I can maybe try to put a little bit more time into my channel and try to grow it a little bit. So this is just kind of some fun uh, logistics stuff, or just kind of about the views and some of the um, uh, statistics with my channel. So basically, I got uh, between January second to now. If you could add every every view up, I have somewhere around between seventeen thousand views, which I, I think is absolutely uh, great. Uh, we just hit a little over two hundred subscribers about a month ago. So my goal this is kind of an ambitious goal, um, and it might not not be a realistic one too, because realistically, if I got two hundred subscribers this past year, then maybe I'll, I'll probably get to four hundred between now and next year. But what I want to try to do. I really want to push myself to go from 200 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If that's a really ambitious number for a YouTuber, and I'm fully aware that it might not even be a realistic number, but if I'm really consistent and I, uh, having my friend Unity members, then it might not be that actually unrealistic. I just gotta go ahead and put the time and energy into wanting to build this channel. 
Honestly, this one is kind of more of a personal goal, and unfortunately, I won't be able to sell them all to everyone like around the world with something. And this is just a hundred percent personal. I gotta do a really better job at turning around and selling my card. It's something that I didn't realize how quickly it was gonna get out of hand, and I learned this on about the first month of this channel. How much space do we need? Just doing one Pokemon video track every day, how much space I was going to take as far as uh, cards uh, were worth. Um, but I think it's gonna that's gonna do it for this first video of Bell Trainers. I just want to say thank you so much for being uh, showing all the love and support for me completing this one year challenge. We're gonna go strong in 2019 with a bunch, a bunch of other exciting things planned along the way. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are. This is the first video you've seen of mine. Like I said, I do one Pokemon booster pack opening of some kind every single day, and I plan on to keep doing that for uh, for a really long time. Fellow trainers, hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I will see you tomorrow as always.